Hey everyone, so been a little while since I made a video. Um, I was kind of waiting to do this one. I placed um, an order recently for some corals. Um, I thought it'd be good fun to, to do an unboxing. Um, I got, they basically came about half an hour ago. Um, really excited to get these open, get them in the tank. Um, we basically um, have four corals here. I'll do a little unboxing, we'll see what's going on, um, talk about the place that I got them from, uh, and yeah, that's kind of what this video will be about. So, first of all, um, I got them from Ocean's Treasure from Dai. Um, that guy is awesome. Um, literally anything I could ask for, he was there to help. Um, I was a bit of a nightmare asking for loads of pictures, um, as I'm sure anyone would be, and literally just no trouble at all. He was just taking some photos um, and really helping me out. Um, and some of his stuff is just, it's incredible. Um, so definitely go check out Ocean's Treasure. Um, really, really, really good uh, corals and yeah, Dai's a great guy. Um, and he's on band as well, if uh, any of you guys are looking on band. Um, so without further ado, because I am insanely excited to get these open, let's unbox these styrofoam boxes and see what we've got in here. So let me move you guys a bit closer so you can see. Sorry for the sound there. So on note, straight up, straight off the bat, they came really well boxed. Um, they came in a cardboard box. Uh, loads of fragile tape around here around it um, with this way up which I like to see because um, you know what it's kind of like when you're getting corals um, and fish they tend to be chucked around a bit um, so I like to see that you've got a nice clear uh, writing on there you know you've got urgent stickers on the boxes and stuff like that and that's what I got from Ocean's Treasure really 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 good um, I've got so two of the poly boxes here have corals in and then one of the others is just a spare that I've got um, with some heat pads because I'm wanting to ship off a few frags that I've got in the tank at the minute uh, just to clear up some space, nothing special, just ones that kind of aren't really vibing in the tank at the minute um, I kind of want to move on and get some like higher end stuff um, you know just general things like that um, so yeah, in terms of packaging, really, really good. I haven't seen what's in the boxes at the minute. Um, I presume if the packaging was as good as the box I got, it's gonna be as good in here. Um, so without further ado, let's have a look at, let's have a look at some corals. So this one is just an empty styrofoam box with some heat packs in, um, as I mentioned earlier, which is awesome. So, let's open up this first one and see what we've got. So this one looks like it might have leaked a little bit, but it's not a problem. Let's see how the color is. So that's pretty wet in there, but it's double bagged, it's completely submerged. And this one is kind of why I contacted Dai in the um, first instance. It's a really, really nice trackie. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I've kind of alluded to it that the trackie that I've got in the tank at the minute is like my child. I absolutely love it. Um, I kind of want to get the bottom covered with LPS, like trackies and Lobos, move the zoos up onto the rocks to grow, and then kind of maybe just have a load of Montes on the top. Um, so I think maybe I'll be getting rid of kind of the SPS I've got in there at the minute. Um, but this guy's been traveling, so let's open up the other box and then 
I'll talk through kind of how I acclimate corals. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll go through from there. So that's our first box. Let's just look at this one. I don't know why I got all this stuff out. I was gonna maybe do a video on uh, some of the new salt I got. I'm moving over from the Red Sea Coral Pro to the Quantum Salt. This stuff, really, really good. I've only used it for a couple of water changes so far, but um, the mix is really clean. It gives a really good uh, levels. Much better than the Coral Pro. The Coral Pro for me runs out way too high. Um, yeah, black. I can't, I can't be dealing with kind of batches of 12 DKH, um, it's just a bit much for me. Um, corals tend to not like it. So again, this is really well packaged, it's like, like they've been um, tucked in for bed. Um, got a heat pack wrapped there. Nice, so I'll get some video of when they're in the tank, but here we've got some Jutsu Chalice. Looks like we've got a good three heads, maybe four. Um, I think it's also known as a fistful of dollars. Uh, this one, I believe, yeah, is a neon green candy cane. I've got a candy cane in the tank at the minute, but um, it's kind of turquoise. Uh, that thing in about three months has gone from four heads to, I don't know how many's on there now, maybe 10. Um, yeah, quite quite like them, they're quite interesting to see grow. Um, nice quick growth. And then here, it looks like we've got some carbon in the bags, which is nice. This little piece here is a jack-o'-lantern lepto. I think maybe I cut the bag there. So let's get these guys out and we'll talk acclimation. So the corals have, um, uh, they've warmed up, um, floating in the tank for a bit. One thing I'll note is that the packaging that they came in, the water was still warm. Um, those heat packs um, worked really well, nicely packaged. Um, as you can kind of see, we had a few leaks. Um, nothing major, I think, to be honest with you, it was probably just, um, water from where uh, they were actually being packaged. Um, in terms of the quality of the packaging, uh, very happy with it. And in terms of the corals, damn. When you guys see these under the under the blues, um, I'll get some photos once they're in. Really, really good. Um, that Jutsu Chalice and Jack O' Lantern, wow. Um, really, 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 really nice. Um, so uh, I just kind of want to talk through um, how I acclimate how I acclimate new corals, what I do, um, and see if it it will help you guys. Um, so first of all, I don't use a coral dip. Um, I just use um, fresh water. Um, I know sometimes that's a bit controversial, um, but I think a few seconds in some fresh water for me at least, works well. I haven't got any pests. Um, the only time I've ever had pests was, um, had some flatworms um, and I had a canary wrasse that I borrowed that wiped them out and haven't had them since. So um, never really had any issues, never had any problems with Aptasia, anything like that. Um, corals seem healthy. Um, so for me, freshwater dipping has been working quite well. Um, the reason I like freshwater dipping as well is it gets practically everything. Coral dips, I feel, some of some are very, very good, like Coral RX and stuff like that, but some of them can also, they kind of just, they don't, they don't always get everything. Um, freshwater can be a bit more effective. Um, from my, my opinion and what I've, what I've seen and, and how my tank's been going. Um, so that's why I stopped using coral dip and started using fresh water. Plus, you know, I save, I know it's only like a tenner here and there, but um, uh, I buy a, a lot of corals. <laughs> um, so what we've got here is, I'll get some close up. So we've got the fresh water here. Um, this here is basically a bit of airline tubing. 
um, and I've got a valve at the end. So what I do is I'll put that into the tank or into the sump um, and then use this so that it can drip acclimate the corals together. Uh, I've got this suction pad to basically stick it into the tank. So here we have the trachea. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love trachophilia. Um, I'll probably end up doing a video on trachophilia, how I uh, look after them, um, general care requirements and things like that because they're fantastic corals. If you don't have a trachea, go out and get one. These things are absolutely amazing. Um, proper centerpiece corals, um, pretty easy to care for as well. Um, they like a good feeding, which you know not all corals need. I say need, I, I feel like you should um, probably feed your corals anyway, um, not just rely on photosynthesis. Um, but, you know, I think you get a good amount of interaction from them um, that you don't necessarily get from other corals. Um, yeah, I think, I think they're good to have in a tank, plus you get a whole array of colours. And then in here, we have, at the top there, we've got our Jutsu Chalice on that tile, got our Neon Candy Cane, and then there is our jacket lantern. Again, I'll get once they're in, we'll get some pictures. Um, I'll take a video of them under the blues. Um, so yeah, let's let's do some freshwater dip. So all in all, I tend to maybe do. I like to examine each plug. Um, I think that's kind of first port port call for anyone, you know. If you actually see a pest on there, then you know that you can target it and get it off. So if we use this candy cane, I won't do a video for each one, but I'll show you how I do it. So the candy cane itself, I mean the plug is looking insanely clean. There is literally nothing on there. I'll show you guys a close up. Get it to focus. insanely clean nothing bit of glue that's it and that's what I like to see you know someone who's selling corals there's nothing you know you get clean plugs um, you can tell they've got good systems they're coming from good systems so here I'll literally it's got a slime coat so it'll be okay you just leave it in here for a few seconds a bit of good shake and this is just some RO Again, you only need a few seconds, plus you can tell that's clean. Give it a quick once over again. Yep, we're all good with that one. And that's literally what I do, that, that, that's it. Um, I don't feel the need to go insane with it. You kind of just give them a little dip, um, see what happens. Um, so I'll dip the rest, we'll get them drip acclimated, put them in the tank and then I'll, um, I'll cut to there so you guys can see what they look like. So I kind of want to just emphasize how clean these frags um, from Ocean's Treasure were. Um, I've never ordered from them before so you kind of don't know what you're going to get I guess. Um, please ignore the water everywhere, I will put a blooper in but I just dropped loads of water on the floor. Um, but basically all that's come off is, you can kind of see there's a couple of pods in there. And that's about it. But again, it kind of proves the freshwater dip method. All the corals look fine. Again, they're gonna be a bit closed up after traveling, but you do get bits come off. Um, but again, a couple of pods. I mean, yeah, it, I've had, I've ordered online before and I've definitely had dirtier corals. I mean, literally three pods have come off. Very, very happy there. Um, so I'm going to get them acclimated and put them in the tank and then I'll kind of talk about them uh, once they're in. So here we are with the corals now in the tank. Here's the tracky. The camera's not picking it up too well, but these sort of peachy orange flex all over it, really beautiful. Um, to 
kind of give you a size comparison. It's about the same size as this Trucophilia over here. Um, it's got some sponges growing on it and everything. Let's have a look at that. Um, so there's kind of like a size comparison. That Lobo's been moved from its spot, so it's a bit unhappy. But really happy with this one. This is this is the whole reason I um, contacted Dye in the first place. Really, really nice. Then up here, this is the Jutsu Chalice. This thing is beautiful. These really bright pink eyes with the <clears throat> kind of orangey gold speckled finish all over it. Really, really nice. I would highly recommend if you're gonna <laughs> if you're gonna have a chat with uh, Ocean's Treasure, see if you can get one of these. Really, really cool. Um, this is kind of turned into Chalice Island. I've got this pink spot chalice and then this orangey red chalice at the back. Um, and down here we got the neon trumpet. I only bought one head, but that's one, two, three, four, five heads. Only Diddy, but really nice, really bright. And then last but not least, the jacket lantern up here. And to be honest with you, I love that trackie, but this is probably my favorite one. This is like, wow. Really, really nice. So bright, especially with those green eyes. And it's nicely encrusting over the frag plug already. Um, I'll do a video on this frag rack as well. This is the uh, Pollock Pros frag rack, which is like modular, so you can add these little um, plug holders on as you go. I'll do a video on that. Um, magnetic. Um, got some bits and pieces up on here. We've got no idea what that SPS is. If anyone knows, leave it in the comment. Um, it's kind of, it's picking up as green, but it's a little bit yellowy. It's got like a really light, light green. Um, got some fake lime chilies, some Cephastria, Pac-Mans, some rainbow and cinema it is, which is having a little, got a little pop there. Don't be about that. But overall, really happy with these corals. I need to have a clear out soon. Um, some of these I need to clear up that I want to get rid of to put in some higher end stuff, mainly the stuff around this kind of this area, like that pink spot chalice, the red chalice. A load of these dragon eyes, that colony of dragon eyes. I just want to fill this in with some high end zoas. Um, this like random massive ones that I'd fragged and only had one frag plug that I'd made. Um, I'll probably do a video on how I make frag plugs as well. Again, they look a bit, no, but uh, they're like the domes are pretty good, but yeah, and that's it, guys. Um, I'm really enjoying making these videos, so. If you have any ideas or anything that you'd like to see in terms of a video made, please leave it in the comments. I'd, I'd really appreciate it. I try to respond to everything and um, the comments I am getting are really positive. So I hope everyone has a great week and see you soon. That have come off and are over.